All right. Well, Colorado has the highest UV index and the highest rate of skin cancer in the country. That's right, Logan. And you can learn about the sun damage on your own face with a UV camera. But as I learned, seeing a dermatologist on this side of the Rockies might be a little bit more difficult. I used to lay out in the 60s with baby oil and iodine on an aluminum foil blanket. I was diagnosed with melanoma in 1999. Deborah Hess has been a patient advocate for 12 years. And I totally changed my lifestyle. I, I have SPF hats and shirts and clothes. Living through her own experience of melanoma. And now, 20 years later, my skin cancer is back. I have a second diagnosis of melanoma. Spending her time educating here. others. Look, that is not because of sun exposure that I've had in the last 20 years. It's because of sun exposure I had when I was young. A lot of the damage does occur in childhood. The number one thing that we can do is encourage prevention, even though most of your sun damage is done before you're 20. Dr. Travis Morell and Dr. Arthur Weber at Mountain West Dermatology. 90% of what we do is skin cancer or severe rashes. Practice in an area which well, has the highest UV index in America. We also have the highest skin cancer rate. Patients come in, it's not like they just have one one skin cancer. Many of them have uh, numerous skin cancers. With some of the biggest need. It uh, gets to be, you know, quite busy. And they don't serve just Mesa County. We take care of the greater western Colorado from, you know, Telluride to Steamboat, Moab, and everything in between. Practice so, manager Tony Calazzi says, Thank you for holding. How could I help you? They're balancing. Between okay. new patient yeah. referrals, 50 to 300 a week, plus a huge established base of patients that we are required by law to provide service to. So what should patients do? First it's up to us to identify it and show it to a physician and if our regular physician is also concerned about it then they'll refer you to the dermatologist. The Grand Valley relies on the primary care doctors, the family doctors, as well as the internists and other specialties to catch and diagnose and help us triage these patients. With the most complex and dangerous skin cancers being the priority. So you really have to be your own best advocate. In the meantime, May is Melanoma Awareness Month. Deborah is drawing people in. And I think knowledge is power. Something that you would be showing your doctor. By offering free pictures with a UV camera. So I'm just going to have you set your chin there. And then to anyone interested in learning more. One, two, three, and we're done. She partners with St. Mary's Medical Center. So we have uh, six dates set up throughout the month of May, and it's all free. And it's really just to help people uh, prevent skin cancer. Offering education on cancer. This is a melanoma, and his entire lower lip is a squamous cell carcinoma. Sunburns. Even one blistering sunburn doubles your risk of melanoma. And most importantly, this picture shows how complete the protection is. Sunscreen. The cheapest uh, cosmetic cream and cheapest uh, skin cancer prevention cream is sunscreen. Mm -hmm. Something broad spectrum, I like SPFs 50 or higher. Especially for kids. Make it a, a habit to have them wear hats, um, start get, get them in the habit of using sunscreen. That's really going to make a difference down the road in terms of how their skin's going to look. And monitor your own skin. If anything is turning your skin brown or a darker color, that means your skin is damaged. For the two main types of skin cancer. We kind of divide them into melanoma, which are usually black or darker, and then non-melanoma, which are usually uh, a, more like a non-healing wound. For Deborah, it's an opportunity. It's a very much a teachable moment for people. With big rewards. And to help people influence whether or not they get skin cancer or not, that's the best day for me. For anyone interested who'd like to know more about detection and prevention and get their picture taken with the UV camera for free, Deborah has three more days left this month. She'll be at JUCO this weekend, so head on over to westernslopenow.com for dates and times and make sure to wear your sunscreen.